Alright, so here we are at the hat section of the apparel store. Uh, I mean, you probably wouldn't find a uh, hat saying hacker or genius at any at many other colleges. Um, I know MIT is very famous for its hackers. I, I, I remember there was a very notorious prank where MIT actually uh, shipped the cannon from Caltech all the way to MIT. That That's very famous. You should probably look it up if you have time. But um, you probably won't find any colleges that sell a hat that has wicked smart on it. Uh, I mean, probably, maybe think. And if you didn't know, this means MIT because E over C squared is M, M equals E equals MC squared, uh, I because the square root of negative one is I or imaginary. And I'm not sure what this is, but this is definitely T because everything else here is MIT. That is the hat. Pretty cool, right? Engineers. I guess we come from an engineering school, so Zombie will probably have to get one of these shirts at one point in his, in, in, his time at MIT. Um, ooh, this is a nice sweater. Zombie actually has a sweater like this, but it doesn't have the beaver on it. Um, I think... I'm not sure how the origin of the beaver uh, as the uh, MIT mascot, but I remember at the MIT um, admit dinner, they, they were talking about a ring for alumni that had this kind of beaver on it. It was pretty cool. A lot of these have MIT engineer on them. I guess this is the apparel section for... Wait. And on this section, they didn't have engineers. <laughs> they even have... Uh, what's it called? Sports pants? I forgot. That's actually pretty cool. They have all kinds of clothes. Regular sweat. Uh, regular shirt. Yeah, this is definitely the knickknack section. At any college bookstore or co-op, you'll definitely find one of these. Uh, one of these sections of the bookstore where it's just random stuff like um, small contraptions like these or things that you wouldn't expect to be in a college bookstore like a unicorn keychain. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what this is doing here, but besides that... I mean, I think Azami would probably like this. He likes puzzles, right? Right? <laughs> this probably would be a good gift to get him for uh, his first introduction to MIT. We'll see. This is a snaky, snake twisty puzzle. Okay, so these right here are the weirdest things ever. They're motivational quotes and they're framed motivational quotes. Okay, that's not weird by itself, but the price itself is $15. $15 for a frame uh, quote. Uh, and I actually wonder if who would buy this at a uh, college bookstore? Because you could get this pretty much anywhere. Um, I probably, I probably wonder why they put this here. <laughs> and they even have like a pixel heart morph mode. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the uh, MIT bookstore or just a random <laughs> knickknacks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anyway, oh, they have they also have gift cards. I guess this is for during uh, the time uh, when students want to give some some gifts to other other uh, students. Like I guess I guess that'd be weird though because they have granddaughter sections. When I think about it, maybe this isn't supposed to be like an MIT apparel shop. It's more like a general store for all MIT kids. Because like, why would they have a <laughs> a, a, a granddaughter gift a, a gift card? It's really funny. I don't know why. I just find this funny that you can just find the most random things in college bookstores. <laughs> oh, but at least they have the school supplies. Of course, a college bookstore should. A college bookstore should definitely have school supplies. Let's go check that. So very interesting stuff at the school section, uh, the school supply section. Of course, there's pencils. Uh, something I always say to myself when I visit a college bookstore is that pens are always the most expensive thing you'll find at a school supply store. This is one pen, and it's twenty dollars. And then you have, and I got, I gotta think. Uh, is it really worth twenty dollars for a pen? I have, I have, I have heard some people tell me that for a really good pen, it's definitely worth the price for like twenty dollars. But actually, wait a second. This is a fountain pen. I guess that's fancy enough to warrant the twenty dollars. 
Hmm, that may that gives me an idea. Some one of my friends really likes fountain pens. Maybe I should get some for it. But if you do want to get someone out of the country uh, a really cheap gift, pencils are definitely a good idea. Like this set of four pencils is only four dollars. That's one dollar per pencil. Or maybe you could get them a folder. I think folders are pretty cheap. Um, actually, this stuff have a price on it. Okay, maybe these have prices on them. No, they don't. But I'm not sure if you could get like these leather bound books as a gift because they're like twenty dollars. Probably wouldn't get this as a gift. Which one is better? Uh, I don't know, I like white better. This one? Mm -hmm. This one. Oh, why don't I ask that one? <laughs> so of course, we have the uh, baby clothing section. And I guess for baby clothing, it's not much about showing off. It's more about trying to get it in the idea of college into the kid's mind. I guess, I, def I know definitely my dad would want me to try to wear these to get into in, into my mind that he wants me to go to MIT or something. He probably should have put this on Zami when he was at a young age, so he'd be like, oh, Zami, you should definitely go to MIT. But, I don't know, right now, uh, my dad definitely doesn't have to worry about baby clothing. But maybe we could get one of these for baby Malaysia, you know, Uncle Lan's uh, daughter. I'm not sure if it was fit on her yet, but definitely looks nice. And maybe, just maybe, if there's like, one day there's a kid genius like you know all those shows that you see on on tv if there's a kid genius they can have they can wear one of these and go to mit at the same time who knows then the possibilities are endless <laughs>